back to the Speakeasy, everybody. Another famous movie cocktail today, preparing for the upcoming Academy Awards. But in general, I've never had this one before. This is a ta different take on Bond's dry martini. This is the Vesper Martini. Now, according to uh, the data on this, this first appeared in Ian Fleming's Casino Royale that was published in 1953. So I think this even predated the vodka martini that Bond really popularized in Dr. No, in the movie Dr. No. So uh, I'm not sure. Anyhow, the movie Casino Royale, the first one showed up. It was kind of a spy spoof. It had David Niven in it as Bond. Um, so it wasn't really, I couldn't find where this martini was ordered in that movie. Uh, Casino Royale then came out, I think, in 2007, six or seven, something like that, with uh, uh, Daniel Craig as Bond, and he ordered the Vesper Martini, and he ordered it specifically to be a specific way. He said, uh, let's see, a dry martini, wait, three measures of Gordon's, one of vodka, half a measure of Kinalele, shake it over ice, then add a large thin slice of lemon peel. All right, so we're going to try to make it that way, but full disclosure, I don't have any uh, Kina Lille or whatever that uh, special make of wine is, so I've got some. I did a little re more research, and they said that you can substitute um, either a good Sauvignon Blanc or a Pinot Grigio. So I've got some Sauvignon Blanc here I'm going to use in this place. Couldn't find any of that uh, Kina Lele, Kina, whatever it was called. So we're going to take our, our shaker here. We're going to put ice in it. And then we are going to do our three measures of gin. So... That's going to be three ounces because I like to measure easy. And half of this for three. Three measures of gin. One ounce of vodka. Using our good old Prairie Wolf vodka from here in Guthrie, Oklahoma. Wander Folk Spirits. And then we have a half ounce of the wine, the Lille Blanc. In this case, Sauvignon Blanc. Half ounce. And then we are going to shake this over ice until chilled. If I can get my glass to stick in there. All right. And then we're going to strain that into our martini glass. The glass is a little bigger than the contents of our shaker. And then that's as big a slice as I could get. So we're going to do this two ways. We're going to spritz it, throw in our lemon, and then I have a little lemon twist to hang over the side there. So we got a double lemon, and then there is your Vesper Martini, as ordered by Bond, James Bond. Now that's actually not bad. I think I could, I like this one better than the normal Bon Martini. The other one's just a little too dry and not sweet enough. And I guess that there's enough of the, the wine in there that it gives it a little more sweetness, a little more flavor, and that's not bad at all. Hey, if you want to learn how to make cool cocktails like the Vesper Martini here, please consider subscribing, liking, give me the big thumbs up, share the channel with your friends. 
Put any comments below about cocktails you'd like to see that you're having a hard time figuring out how to make. I'll do the research and I'll make them for you, post them right here on my channel. Thanks again.